Hi guys, hope you guys are doing well. So today in this video, I just want to give you guys a demo of one of the most complicated trading journal ever built on a no-code platform. So in this video, I'm going to give you a rundown on what we built, give you a few demos of the features. and I'm going to tell you what tools we use to build this. And lastly, I just want to give you some tips and tricks on how you can build a software as complicated as this one. And just for a bit of context, my name is Max. I run this local development agency called Shipfast, where we'll help you to build your dream app 10 times cheaper and 5 times faster utilizing local technologies. The demo you're about to see here is completely built by us on a local tech stack. So first of all, obviously, let's start with the landing page, as you can see. Um, yeah, pretty good looking, right? So we spend a bit of time in building the um, landing page, as you can see. So the reviews and also the FAQs, the landing page. Now let me actually show you the dashboard, right? So the feature it provides. So before diving into the details of the features, let me give you a brief rundown of what Autobot Signal is about. So first of all, Autobot Signal is a desktop app which is an auto trader. So you will have a bot that trades on your behalf. And what we did here is we built an Autobot trading signal journal. So basically when the user is using their desktop app, all the trades and all the data about the trades we are pulling in to this web app, which we built. So the user can not only use the desktop app to trade, but also use our web app to actually track the trades and track how they're doing. So basically it's just like Trezilla but only dedicated for Autobot Signal platform users. Okay, now let me show you the dashboard, right? So I'm on a task account. You can see my current balance, my win rate, my risk reward rate. I can filter by year, I can filter by month, I can filter by signal. So let me just quickly show you. So for example, I go to October and then you can see everything get updated. I go back to November, so everything get updated. I can change the signal. I can change core put. If you're a trader, you'll understand all this data. I think it's pretty important. Daily PL and also net daily PL, top five symbols earning, performance by time of day, by day of the week. So, all these graphs, we're pulling the data from the user's app trades to this web app so the user can see the performance, right? And also, they can open this is 11, 16, 24. These are the trades I made. And also, basically, I can see my profit rate, the status, the growth, how much I made on each trade. So I can see all my data, right? And also, I can go to history. History is going to be a list of trades I made on the desktop app. And we're pulling all the data there. And I can see everything, right? So I can see Monday, October 21, I did all these trades. You can see these all the trades. This is time. This is symbol, whether I'm buying or selling. And also my win rate. And the streak, max losing streak, the biggest win I had. So I can track all the trades that's happening, right? So I get a clear idea of how I'm doing on my trades. And also ranking. So basically, Autobot Signal is a big app. They have over 30,000 users. So therefore, we develop a ranking system. So basically, the user can see what other people ranked based on the profit. And they can copy trades, right? So copy trades, basically, I can copy their signal key and then basically copy the key and put it in their own desktop app and copy this guy's trade. So therefore, if this guy trades, I will trade as well. So therefore, you know, he's making profit for a reason. So I'm just copy trading and that's that. And also I can have a journal. So journal is basically I can track how I'm doing. So doing good, give me an emotional check and give it the de details. So for example, I did good. So I can save note. So I can make a list of journals on how I'm doing today. So I know I'm doing good today. This is the trade I made. So I can reflect on my trading journey. So if you're a trader, you'll know journaling is very important. So yeah, this is basically the app. So it's dedicated for the desktop app. So when the user make a trade on the desktop app, we'll reflect the data here so they can see the performance. And as you can see, it's pretty complex. We have to pull all the data from the app and also have all this filtering system and also just making sure all the data coming back is correct because it was trading that's quite important so this is a demo of the app and now i want to tell you what tools we used to make this possible right so now i want to share with you guys what tools we used to build this app so first of all as a no code agency we obviously built everything on bubble so because 
the desktop app already have so many user so we are already expecting a lot of user coming in in the first day so we went with a professional plan which is 119 dollars per month and as expected on the first few days of the app launching we got 1600 users so that was a good choice to go on a professional plan um which is 190 dollars per month which is reasonable so this is the first tool we used everything is built on bubble including the landing page every page you see on the app is everything built on bubble so the second tool we use is mysql so the reason we use mysql and the separate backend to connect to bubble is because the user is using desktop app to make the trades we need to somehow to pull the data from the desktop app to our app so therefore our team and their team communicated with developer api where basically it connects both app together so we can actually pull the data from the desktop app to our web app through api uh, by connecting to their mysql database so therefore we ensure all the data is coming to our web app whenever the user is making a trade on the desktop app to making sure everything is connected and all the data is accurate so essentially we only used one tool to build the whole app which is bubble so this just shows you the power of bubble as a no code platform and lastly i want to share some tips on how you can build these type of complex apps on no code so first of all the most important thing is learn api if you want to build any app that's sort of complicated or any ai related app you need to learn api api is a gateway to building complex apps please learn how to use a bubble api connector that's the first thing and the second tip is to build at least five different type of apps on no code therefore you can actually enhance your skills and you can be ready to build something this complex and lastly is experience working with real user i'm not talking about you on a test database building an app just for testing purpose i want you to actually build an app that have real user so you can feel like you know how to deal with the app that have real users what happened when you push update what sort of user experience you should consider when you're actually building features so that's very important so there are three tips that can help you to start building more complicated no code apps so yeah overall this is a demo and also how we build it what tools we built and also have shared you some tips on how you can build a complicated app just like this and if you want us to help you to build your dream app we can help you to do that just like autobot so just drop me a comment or book a call and we can discuss more about your app idea thank you